Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs Daily Classic. And I know we've gone over Blasphemy's Fallen Angel of Doom, but never on cassette and never with the white cover. I've been meaning to get this for a few years now. And thanks to the Patreon account, we had the chance to grab this bad boy on cassette. I really wanted to get uh, the Caller Storm's picture disc, but the cassette just was something I just wanted to complete my Ross Bay cassette collection for the most part. I'm missing some live rituals and stuff like that. But like when it comes to most of the full lengths, I'm good. But what makes Fallen Angel of Doom Fallen Angel of Doom? Why is this, you know, alongside I should have grabbed the LP, but as well, because I have the demo compilation as well. Sarcophagos, INRI. Mixed with Blasphemy. Pretty much equals. And I mean no offense by any of this, but a band that probably has a black cover with red or white font. ASM, for example, I'm just going to grab just something random from the War Metal shelf. And it's Goatcraft with War Metal. And this promo is amazing. Iron Bonehead. We'll grab one more, which happens to be a Ross Bay. I can see the Ross Bay angel. The Proclamation or pro Proclamation, whatever. Messiah of Darkness and Impurity. But, uh, you might have noticed a similarity with certain... Just... Fuck yeah! Come on! You know already. But I know some of you might not know. So, first off, I love how they use the Speed Metal logo and just faded black metal I thought that was just cool as fuck like when I first like got this album on CD I was just like whoa like, they made the speed metal logo and say black metal I just thought that was cool for some reason and then Ross Bay Cult Nuclear War Now I honestly don't remember what year this reissue is but it's on red vinyl if that gives any hint, I, I honestly don't know. I, I know it's, you know, it's not like a first press or anything, obviously. Like, not even from NWN. But to me, I don't know. I felt like I, I just needed it on red vinyl. Like, I saw it was available on red. I was like, all right, cool. But for a long time, I don't know why, I just avoided the white cassette. And, like, I knew I wanted a tape version because I happened to have the Osmos production version of Gods of War, which means I already have Blood Upon the Altar on vinyl. But I love my tape version on Nuclear War now. But having it on the B-side of Gods of War is just very convenient. Because when they did the last batch of reissues, I kind of regret not getting Gods of War on cassette, though. I mean, I probably still have a chance to. For one, to get the alternative non-colored artwork. But I just want the album on tape. I love war metal on tape, but a lot of people 
you know, kind of shrug off Gods of War. I don't know why they do that. You, you should not downplay, you know, blasphemy. Like, they obviously are not playing fucking games. And I love this booklet. I know it's nothing as gnarly as, like, the Nuclear War Now reissues. But when this came out, at the time, it was like, yo, I get Blood Upon the Altar and Gods of War together. And it's not a double LP. And, like, it doesn't sound, you know, like there's too many tracks on the A side. Like, I I had this press of dissections of Sombrolin where they just put, like, half the album on the A side. It just sounded like trash. But these songs are so fast and stuff. It's just, it works perfectly. But I understand, you know, wanting to own this as a separate, you know, slab of bestial black death war metal, whatever you want to call it. It's one of those things, whatever you want to call it. Like, just as long as you don't call it fucking shitty. I know some people hate this stuff, but I don't I don't know how. It's, it's so just fun and gnarly. Like, just power lifting, like, Satanists. That fucking rules. But this is the Osmos Records reissue of Gods of War from 2015. So I got this uh, when the year it came out. So 2015, I, I got this uh, version of Gods of War. But I think this might be like 180 gram vinyl, though. Like I, I honestly forget, but I, I love how this has like the alternative demo art, and then just hell yeah, it's a sick you know release, and I think it sounds great. But I do want to get Gods of War on tape eventually. Just because it's a badass release. And, you know, again, I'm a sucker for sometimes having, you know, different formats on, like, different cosmetic shit. Like, another reason I got the Fallen Angel of Doom tape was the white cover like i'll be real with you i just you know as a collector that part of me came out and also who doesn't want to listen to fallen angel of doom on cassette like don't get me wrong the vinyl's great the cd is great but i'm sorry i just love it on tape it just has this special just vibe it, it really is just a fucking vibe and like this is a vibe too i mean because if you want you can just like straight up like i guess the cd would on uh, because i love ritual it's probably like one of my favorite like war metal songs so you know just being able to go straight to ritual but why not just listen to the whole album front to back that's the way I listen to it. So, I don't know. But I always wanted that tattoo. I know the dude from Torture Rack has it, but I don't give a fuck. That thing's so, it's so sick. But what makes Blasphemy, you know, like, above Conqueror? Like, or are they? I mean, it's kind of a matter of taste. I feel like Conqueror is more... Oh, no, that's more like Revenge, actually. Revenge is more drum-based than anything. But, like, these three releases... Well, technically four, but, like... They, they stand the test of time. Like, the demo, I think, was 89. Yeah, 89. Like, come on. 
there were few this gnarly in 1989. I mean, there were some gnarly bands, like Vaughn. But, like, you know, I really think Blasphemy just really dialed in a certain genre, a subgenre, and, you know, took something that kind of already existed and really just fucking put their stamp on it and made it their own. And that's what makes Blasphemy stand out, I think. Because there's endless Blasphemy clones. That we can just go on for days and days and days and nights and weekends and holidays. But, fuck. I mean, like, real quick. Here's how far their influence goes. I just grabbed a random arch, it's arch goat, but still, just a random cassette. Look at that color scheme. I know that's not Blood Upon the Alt. I mean, I know that's not a uh, Fallen Angel of Doom, but still, a fucking tough ass Satan goat, black, white, and red. I forget who it was. Do you war metal? I think it was a meme. I, it, I don't know. It always made me fucking laugh. Do you war metal? <laughs> and like this dude, he was like, you know, all fucking war metal out. With like the war paint on and shit. Like I want to get my sarcophago demo out. But I, I really don't want to waste your time looking for it. I know it should be like right in order. But I have a feeling it's not. And yeah, I was I was right. I apologize. Is I, I really should have pulled out the uh, sarcophago demos because they're extremely fucking important. I I think. But I was also looking for some my, my death wish tape and blasphemy uh, blasphemy Christ. I always fuck that title up. But there's just so many bands that have taken this formula, like even like the interludes and stuff, like with like the synthesizers and just having that like evil fucking vibe. It all comes from blasphemy, in my opinion. I mean, obviously, like, again, sarcophago, blasphemy, and then you know you have that whole raw face. And like just how gnarly <laughs> shit looked back then, just from promo photos and stuff. But um, I, I should have got my conquer tape like prepared. Like here's another great but modern example, probably one of my favorite modern war metal bands. That's a fucking abysmal lord when it comes to best peel black death. Yo, I keep forgetting like whenever if that i know it's going to get a vinyl release but yeah remind me and just look at how nice dude nuclear war now is just killing it cosmetically ross bay angel and the nwn logo so you have side darkness and side impurity it's just fucking oh so good it's one of those albums, it, to me, it really never gets old, and I know that's fucking as boring of an answer I can give you, but what do you want me to really say? Like, again, it's like when I try and talk about INRI, I don't have anything, like, new to say, you know? Like, it's sleazy, it's evil. And it's, you know, so ahead of its time. But, to me, Blasphemy just tightened everything up. But I just love the looseness of, like, 
the early South American stuff, like the best, like early Sepultura. Some people say it's Sepultura. I don't fucking. I really don't. Like for real, don't kill me. Like I love the band, but you know, I definitely bought Roots. Pretty sure Neil Jameson sold it to me also, but yeah, definitely bought that bullshit when it came out. I didn't know, I kind of thought Chaos AD was like a one-off type thing, because I was at the age where like, I legit was like, oh, this is terrible, like this sucks. I can't let certain friends know I even have this, like this is embarrassing. And then I had a friend that got a fucking Soulfly tattoo. I'm not going to say his name, so if you know him, you know him, but uh, I, I always was like, oh, dude, he got it covered up, like, I, even back, like, I think a, a year after he got it done, he got, he got fucking rid of that shit, thankfully, because, <laughs> yeah, that was a bad move, yo. I, I legit remember being like, I, I didn't really say anything, because I, I was kind of had my head up my own ass with, like, riding bikes. But I'm looking for my Conqueror tape, because I, I really want to go over something real quick, but... Oh, here we go. Alright, so, pretty much... When it comes to this type of music, Bestial, Black Death, War Metal, these two releases... Conquerors, War Cult Supremacy, and Blasphemy, Fallen Angel of Doom. Come on! You can't, you really can't go wrong. Our Nuclear War Now reissue. And again, I will pull the wax out real fast. Ah, fuck me. Sorry, folks. But again, when the reissues came out, I didn't grab certain releases because I already have them from the last reissue on vinyl. And again, this all goes back to blasphemy, so I'm showing this for a reason. But the last reissue was just the album. Like, this doesn't have, you know, like, the Antichrist superiority demo. You have to get that on its own. And then there's uh, some cover tracks, like Christ's Death by Sarcophago. Just some badass stuff. Like, this is a killer fucking... Like, if you can get the compilation version, to me, it's just, uh, I don't know... A double LP, it's, fuck yeah, you know, but at the same time, having everything on vinyl, including the live, because I really want the live performance, so that's like the one thing, I, I really want that fucking live recording, but yeah, War Cult Supremacy, fucking amazing, uh, Again, I don't know what year this reissue was, but it was the double LP version. So, yeah. Well, like, you have Death Worship, you know, there's so many gnarly, good, new Ross Bay cult bands. But there's still, like, the classics that 
are the classic for a reason. They're just fucking awesome. They, so many bands have ripped off this riff right here. Go to cemetery right? But Fallen Angel Doom, fucking A. I don't know what else to say except for A. You have Nocturnal Grave Desecrator and Black Winds on effects, bass, and lead vocals. Traditional Sodomizer of the Goddess of Perversity, effects, rhythm guitar, and backing vocals. The Car uh, Car of Storms, effects, and lead guitars. And Black Hearts of Damnation and Impurity on drums. Such a sick lineup and just such a sick band. Living their art and just keeping it fucking gnarly. I mean, when your band's name is Blasphemy, yeah, you better bring it. And yeah, they definitely did. Blasphemy is one of the few bands I hear people ever say anything remotely negative about. It's just like, you know, like, oh, Blasphemy is fucking sick. Like, you know, it's just like one of those, like, in passing, like, mo most everybody knows. But then you get some people, every song sounds the same. It's like, whatever but it's badass, and that's all that fucking matters. So, if you're looking to get into, like, bestial black death metal, I mean, I know a lot of people just go straight to, like, revenge and shit, but, like, I think that's, like, revenge is, like, a little gnarly. Like, you know, they're super noisy. I feel like you gotta be into that type of stuff. I, I love that shit, but, like, Blasphemy is just like a little crispier and real easy to digest for how vicious and fucking savage the music is. Like, it's memorable and yeah. Also, real quick, again, I love our viewers that belong to the Patreon. Iron Lung, Sexless, No Sex is in my hands right now. On 12 inches of beautiful cotton candy vinyl. Fuck oh, yeah. And some head split tapes came too. Thank you, Dylan, for the uh, vein tape. I wish I would have waited a day to do Anthropophagus. I fucking... It's not sold out yet, but... I would have, I would have grabbed it along with Impest, Bone Pit, bad ass little three track demo. This is a sick one, and Dylan threw in a uh, Vein Blood Oats. Real nice tape cosmetics like Pro Tape and shit. Super sick. Interested in hearing this. I have no idea what this sounds like, so I'm stoked. And again, you have uh, like side of something I don't even know, and then side blood. Like, that's badass. But yeah, I'm definitely kind of stoked to check this out. It sounds gnarly, just based on reading it but fallen angel of doom come on i know somebody's gonna be like why'd you make this video because i felt like it but again one of my favorite like riffs and everything <laughs> Blasphemy, Fallen Angel, Doom. Grab it while it's hot. On Nuclear War Now, if you want the white cassette, I suggest grabbing it while, you know, you still can. And again, if you want the black cassette, go ahead. 
I'm pretty sure that's available too. I just wanted the white cassette. I don't know why that's such a big deal, but I know I've seen whole videos of people like like trying to figure out which cover they like more and they're both fucking sick. It's just honestly, pick your poison. Like what do you like better, you know? Like the black and red one or the red and white one? I I honestly I really like this, but like the the all red and black picture disc one is the sickest of all of them. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Listen to blasphemy. Kiss the goat, motherfuckers. Hail. <laughs>